Um, well, um, first of all, I am uh, very, very happy to be here today. Um, it's amazing what is happening around uh, Swarm. Uh, I'm so proud to see this baby girl at the same time that I'm not. It's, it's amazing, and all the things are happening. It's, it's been really incredible. Um, today, I want to talk about how to run a P node, uh, a P with Damnod and why is this a way to, to do that? Um, it's fun because I try to make uh, a different presentation today. Uh, uh, I mean, try to switch my message, but the thing that I discovered is that we are yet in the same situation and we need to find ways to change um, the current the current uh, economic model. And that is the purpose of SRAM and the, the purpose of, of B. Um, uh, the thing is, uh, as you know, um, the user, when they use an application, they, they believe that they are using free application. And um, and that is not true at all. We know that, that the app developers are taking the data of the user and are, they are selling um, to the cloud providers and also the advertisers and the brokers. And, uh, we truly believe this model is broken. Um, we need to try to figure out how to change that. And that's why the data is so important in, in our current world because they are taking that from us with our, our consumers sometimes and they are making a business model on top of that. And that is not the, the good way to go. Um, a lot of you have, I mean, at the beginning when we read these news in the, in the news, we we have been uh, in shock for for a while, but now right now these news are quite common in our society. I mean, the data leaks, uh, privacy leaks, and even password leaks, uh, personal data, uh, I suppose, like the well, ledger or other other well known problems with the data, are it is starting to become useful in our society and. And we need to, at the end, the, the purpose of, of Damnod and the purpose of Swarm is to try to uh, create something, uh, propose something um, that takes uh, this data, this privacy from, from the cultural and these um, services to us again. So the thing is in, in Web2, when how we started, uh, it's a model that I just showed you about how the users are getting free applications in the chain of their data. And so that is why we started to create decentralized applications. At the end, we want to switch this value from one side to the, to the, to the other one. And then is when we start to use this um, decentralized device, when Ethereum and other blockchains start to happen to, to try to switch this. But the thing is how it's going is, is the, the reality is that it's the same that uh, in, the previous, in the previous model, because at the end, we are taking uh, websites from Google Public DNS uh, that are stored in AWS, and we are accessing to this content uh, using MetaMask and Fiona. Um, these are very good services, but we need to realize that we are committing the same mistakes that, that before. So that is why we started to develop Damnode with the idea to provide an easy way to run nodes at home and be able to create a decentralized hardware layer. Um, the thing is, after three years working on this project, we have discovered that it's very, very hard to make that happen, that um, having people running nodes is not easy and it's, uh, it takes a lot of effort, even if we are trying to propose a one-click solution. Um, that is why we are starting to figure out how we can improve that, how we can um, put more value on node operators, put since uh, since um, running a node has a lot of value, even if you are not getting, it's something that has value. And that is why um, solutions like B, in which you can get your token and you have an incentive-based way to, to provide that service, um, is so critical to make this happen. At the end, um, if we want to create this uh, new world, a decentralized world, we need to have the help of everyone and, and incentive-based um, all uh, the actors on that system. So the idea is, is just that, to switch the value that um, we previously um, give to the cloud providers to us again. And then we can have this new uh, ecosystem in which we have a circular economy to provide this um, 
this value to the to the to the, to the users and also the, the the node operators. At the end, from the point of view of that, not we want to create a kind of uh, ecosystem uh, around that. It's like we want to keep this value in our hands, and our hands is all of the community that's making that happen. That that is why it's so important um, to be able to run nodes in an easy, easy, easy manner. And that is the thing that I would like to explain right now. How, uh, how we try to make as easy as possible so we can compete against these um, central service providers and get this, um, this value uh, from them. So now I'm going to show you how, how we can do that. Sorry for this um, introduction, but um, I mean, thing is so, so fast to run the you node. Know? I need to make something to present it. <laughs> and this is the cool thing that um, with the idea of Dumbo behind, we managed to run nodes in a one click or a several click, but not too much. And even people without a, a lot of technical knowledge can do it. Um, the thing that you can see right now in my screen is the, the Dumbo uh, UI. And I'm going to make um, a small tour around that. Um, here we have the dashboard in which you can see all the things that are you are running on the node. As you can see, I am running um, several chains and several things at the same time. Um, then we have the device section in which um, you can give access to other people. The idea behind that node is obviously we cannot expect that all the, all the people are running this, but at least you expect to have one of those at, at any home. Um, if we want to create this idea of, uh, of um, decentralized world computer, then we need to at least try to have one of these or, or something like that really in, in every home. Um, our intention is to, to um, try to present that as the router of your house. So that means it's like your gateway to a decentralized world. Um, this device is expected to run all the chains that you want and all this and um, provide these services in the central manner to get that value to you. So that is why we have the devices so you can share the access to your nodes um, to your family and friends. Uh, so you can, with one node operator, uh, you, you can give access to several people at the same time. Then we have the tab store, mainly the idea behind of this is Quite similar to a mobile phone, it's a place in which you can uh, install several applications on your dark uh, where you can start to synchronize uh, several blockchains and also several several applications. And, and for that, we create a, a truly centralized um, marketplace. The idea is that we have a, an analogous smart contract on chain in which we publish the hash of an image, that means that every time that you download, you are directly download, downloading in a decentralized manner. Um, next, we have here the packages that I am running right now, uh, the system, then you can get more, um, more details about your current status. One thing, for example, in the last version that we added is a notification, so you can configure Telegram to get some notification from your node. And yeah, finally, the SDK. At the end, we want to have as much as possible application running on that node. So that's why we open this SDK so anyone will can develop on a package and upload. And then it's time to see how it looks like to run a node on, on that node. And so in this case, I'm going to run a P node. Okay. So mainly, uh, we published the last version yesterday. And now, as you can see, we are running the 5.0 version. So the, the thing is, if you want to run on your tablet, you only need to click install. Um, and now in the last version, we also added a new features. Um, well, here again, what a password. Now you can select the capacity of your of your uh, B node. Also a welcome, a welcome message and even the storage. So that means that if you have a USB uh, hard drive or a stick, then you can plug it and uh, that node is automatically going to uh, detect it. And you can select that to store your chain, your, your, sorry, your um, B data. And after just um, a small configuration, like a typical application in, um, in a mobile phone, 
uh, everything is going to happen. We the dump automatically download this um, image uh, and install it on your shipping automatically. So now, as you can see, uh, we have the node running with just a few clicks. So yeah, if I go to logs, I'm going to see how how it started. And the thing is now, um, I don't know if it is folded or ah, it's using a 16, it's a 16 checkbook. So yeah, that means that I am running a previous uh, data, sorry, I'm going to do the left. So you can see how, uh, let me check it. Oh, okay, check it. yeah, another problem. I am using previous data. So that is why um, I'm going to remove it and I'm going to select another um, place to store it. So I can show you how you need to um, fold at the beginning the, the denote. So in this case, use the host, which is the um, hard drive. Let's see, I hope that I don't have any data there. Um, but yeah, well, uh, as you can see, well, I just installed it two times <laughs> and, um, and yeah, it's working. It's, and that is, I mean, um, now it's running as, as if you started uh, from the scratch. And as you can see in logs, you need to fund this um, to be able to start to use it. So let's do that. Let's go to the website. Okay. So I'm going to connect my wallet to get some gold BTC. 100, for example. Um, you need to press the get GE button as well. Uh, what sorry? Left, okay. left corner down. Um, left down corner. I, I mean, I, I have four leaves. Ah, awesome. Also, yeah, you know, yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, no worries. I mean, I have a lot of to be honest. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see. Um, but uh, here I can write it down. I think it, it has worked. So I, I, I get 100 um, uh, to my node. So that means that if now I take a look to the logs, it should have done it when if you left it. And in the middle time, I'm going to show you one of the last that the school has seen that we added to that note is that when you have um, um, uh, a node that has Grafana integration, that means that at the moment that you install it, you get the metrics on your system. This is really cool because we, we can configure specific data for specific applications like, like, like this one. Oh, sorry, yeah. To get, well, we have that for here, but to start to get in some metrics, we need to wait until the node is started and for that we need the, the transaction to happen. So actually, you do need to press the get GE button because your nodes needs both BCC and okay. uh, and Ethereum because you need to deploy the checkbook. This one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, okay, well, I can, yeah, okay. I, I couldn't even send it directly, sorry. <laughs> That's true. Okay, let's see. Um, so the address is... Um, okay. oh. is, is it sending it to this address, right? Maybe I, I did something wrong. I mean, this is recycled, right? 
uh, you're having BCC. Uh, you're right now waiting for uh, for ETH on that address. Oh, okay, okay. Well, yeah. Okay, perfect. And we did that <laughs> via the faucets. Um, you know, I can send, also send it via MetaMask. It doesn't really matter. I'll send it today. Yes. Go for it. Maybe you'll need to restart your node because this thing times out after a while. Let's see. Let's see. Is this working? Yes. Blockchain is, is not always fast <laughs> as we expect. <laughs> um, yeah, it seems taking a while, but maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's first start it. Waiting for this transaction to happen. Oh, now I get one user here. All the is and also the BC. So let's take a look. Yeah, now it's deploying the rejected interaction automatically. So this looks um, this looks good, I guess. Um so now uh as is deploying the checkbook, the checkbook, I wait to wait because uh, the not is not started yet. Maybe well, some of the strong team can give you more details, but now after uh, depositing and sending all these to the blockchain, then is when the node is starting to, to, to run. Um, another cool thing um, about Dabnode is that we have an internal um, bind resolver. So we can use always the same um, URL to access to the node. And uh, for example, in the case of B, you only need to use B.dabnode and the port uh, for, for start to using. As you can see right now, the node started. This is the API address and also the uh, the uh, API address, and everything is starting to happen. Um, just to, I don't know, ah, I'm not showing my, my score, my console, but I mean, um, if you want to load the file, you need to use the core the core instruction that you get from the um, Swarm uh, documentation, and you can start to use uh, the node right now. I guess that, as you can see, I started to to get in some uh, information related to the node, the number of connection, a time, version, and if you started to submit your files and start to query some files, then you are going to see how this uh, dashboard is starting to populate. And yeah, mainly, mainly that is the thing that I would like to show you, how how, how easy it is to run nodes in, in, in that and how it's so important, how we need to um, incentivize people to be part of this movement. At the end, with these technologies, we are, I guess, that we are going to do that to make a movement in, uh, in the right direction because um, we detect that the the wall on on the data needs to change in this direction. So, yeah, maybe this. Thank you for for giving me this time. <laughs>